when the material in our facility, in our process, won't flow, we will either use one of these or a hammer. A hammer has been used as a method for emptying, allowing and helping uh, a tank to be emptied or a screw conveyor avoid getting a rat holding. But the most intelligent, proper method for industrial sectors are the vibrators. Vibrators, they can either be electric or pneumatic. Pneumatic, they use air at high pressure, usually or always below seven bar of pressure, and are composed of a casing with a ball, a roller, or similar rotating device inside the casing, which can reach very high frequencies from 3,000 to 14,000 or more RPMs are small, very compact, high frequency, but are a bit loud, louder than the electric ones. But these allow a very wide range of applications, such as help us with feeding material, emptying silos or all type of deposits, conveying, dosifying, compacting, screening when you have a sieve, a vibratory sieve, improve flow flowability or avoid obstructions. This means that we can apply them in a wide range of sector, industrial sectors such as chemistry, pharma, food, in the cement or mortar industries for the production of asphalt in foundries, recycling and a lot more. They have to be placed right in the area where the obstruction is, as we can see in this drawing at the same height using a U-beam, a profile, a metallic profile welded discontinuous like can be seen in this drawing and leaving 30 millimeters on each side of that profile. These vibrators are usually made of aluminium and cover a wide range of temperatures in order to allow us those very different applications from minus 40 degrees to plus 150 degrees Celsius. Then we have the electric vibrators, are easier to install sometimes, are larger and are more silent than the nomadic vibrators. They cover a similar range of applications with a not so high frequency. So then uh, we have the also as part of the pneumatic vibrators linear vibration through what we call piston vibrators that allow us or help us conveying materials in, in trays or similar and should not be used under risk of uh, resonance, should not be used uh, to empty silos or similar deposits. Then uh, very similar to these are the knockers, very widely used in order to empty half-size uh, silos or tanks. And as a different kind of uh, pneumatic vibrators or, or devices that use air, we have the air cannons, which are very stand out from the rest and allow us to empty or prevent buildups and obstructions in very big, uh, very large tanks and deposits uh, at very strong uh, machines, very strong devices that should only be used under very strict uh, security measures as the rest of the of the vibrators that we suggest that you contact a very technician from your supplier in order to know the place and the way to, to use it uh, so that uh, it helps your process and does not uh, go against it or damage your installation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share, subscribe if you haven't done so and see you in the next one.